Hi, my name's Michael and welcome back to another episode of Amarok Weekend Alanda. In this episode I'm going to tell you how this tent is married to this truck in a way that I'm sure it's never ever going to come off no matter what terrain I drive over. Please don't be put off and think that this is only going to be very specific to an Amarok, an iCamper and a mountain top rule. It, it's not. It might be a little bit more specific than these videos are normally used to, but it does also mean that you might learn some things about the best ways to mount your tent to your setup, be it on an adventure trailer, be it on the back of a pickup or on the top of a car. So stick around, there might just be something that can help you out. Now the first question I get asked quite a lot is why a pickup truck and it's the tub space. I like to camp comfortably. I'm not one of these people that likes to take the bare essentials and survive. I essentially glamp on wheels. Is that not what overlanding is after all? Why suffer when I have that much space that I can take whatever I want to be as comfortable as I want? There's a few reasons why I chose an Amarok. I'm not going to go into them in this video, but for me it's just a brilliant vehicle. I've had it over a year now. Really, really happy with that purchase. And it all pended on getting a tent because I wanted it lower than the height of the cab. So that's why it's mounted like it is. I did used to have a fiberglass canopy, but that wouldn't take the weight of a tent. And there are other options that you could have, but I always wanted a shutter. This one came up cheap locally. It does also really help that it's a mountain top roll and we'll talk more about that in a second. But this is the setup that I chose to go for. A roller shutter, some load bars, and then the tent. There are things I would do differently. You know, that I, I would consider a canopy now, but then again, fuel mileage and, and sort of my MPG would, sh would suffer once this is higher than the cab. But the truck's better on, on diesel than I expected it to be, so that, that might have sort of balanced its way out. So let's look a little bit more at the shutter first because that is the absolute foundation of how this setup works. When I was looking at buying this truck, I always knew I wanted a roller shutter. The problem is, the majority of them don't have T-slots in to mount anything to. There are a few, there's a few tonneau style covers that sort of flip up, but the one that I really wanted was a mountain top roll. That's got the T-slots built in, it's, it's designed to carry the weight. I was looking at buying one without T-slots, as the majority of them are, and modifying it with some front runner foot packs and, and, and kind of making it work. There was a guy on a caravan website, believe it or not, who's Amarok, um, he converted his roller shutter to carry bicycles. But then there's the worry about, there's gonna be quite a lot of weight in this tent with two people and the tent itself. I wanted to make sure that it was strong, it wasn't gonna bend, there was gonna be no sort of mechanical fatigue. And then the stars aligned and this mountaintop roll came up available locally. It was 500 pounds second hand, but these are the best part of 1500 pounds brand new. When it was only about an hour away from my house, I was like, I've got to have it. But then the issue is, I didn't have the pickup truck at the time. I had a Fiesta, because that's what I had before this. The only solution I had was to hire a van. So I hired a van, drove an hour one way, picked this up, drove an hour back, and it stayed in my garage for a couple of weeks until the, the truck arrived. I fitted it. It was a, a little bit difficult at times, but we got there in the end. It's, it's not 100%. This um, tape, by the way, is to cover rust. It's, <laughs> it's not structural but there is a little bit of rust from where the previous canopy had rubbed. I got the mountain top roll on and then the big bit was these T-slots. I will bring you in and show you the difference in a second when we talk about the bars, but it's got the slots built in for load carrying. So that meant that I had now had the roller shutter that I always wanted, but wasn't sure I was gonna get because of the cost, mounted to the truck that I'd always wanted as well. So it was starting to come into line. I pretty much always knew I wanted front runner gear. It's expensive and there's a story as to why it's more expensive than it should have been but that was next on my list to order the front runner stuff load bars and for me there was only really one choice and that was front runner their quality is legendary in terms of all of their products that i've ever heard about seen reviews about i don't think i've ever seen anybody have a bad word to say about front runner they fit exactly as expected once i'd bought the correct ones i made a huge mistake when i ordered them mountaintop rolls have two different track systems mine's the flat rack but then there's also an angled rack as well. You can imagine the heartbreak when I also realized I'd ordered them from Germany. They were delayed at shipping because of Brexit charges. They had extra customs to pay. So they ended up costing probably more than they should have. Um, not me not realizing that there are local distributors in my country that could have sold me front runner gear. I had bars that I'd paid too much for and they didn't fit. And I was due to pick up the tent the week later. After I finished crying in the garage and worked out that they weren't going to fit, what I realised was the problem was this foot pack here. 
um, everything else would work it's just that metal angle bracket I thought about modifying them I, I you know I looked and I got in touch with some fabricators to see if they could change them but then found a supplier in this country that had them in stock so that I could use them buy them get it sorted and deal with the mistake later so what you need to know if you have flat rails here you need the LASS 028 if you've got angled rails here you need the LAS S029 foot packs and that's what I originally had they stayed in the shed for the best part of a year they were just on a Facebook marketplace advert all over um, various different overlanding groups and, and just sat there and waited tried them on eBay didn't sell um, and then eventually just out of the blue somebody got in contact saying I think I need these and then it turns out in, in sort of me checking are you sure you've got the right ones because I made a mistake it turns out he'd made the opposite mistake to me he needed the angled ones but had bought flat ones managed to get them sent back um, so we came to a deal so I got a little bit of money back on them uh, so thank you very much for that person who bought them once, once I got the right stuff and fixed my own mistake these literally have never moved I periodically check them just for tightness and I've never needed to tighten them up anymore in sort of the 15 months that I've had this tent um, mounted to this system I really like the big wide slats I do have plans for various different other mounts under here I might put some max tracks under or potentially thinking about a, a solar panel for a big rigid solar panel mount and um, that I could slide under there keep because this is kind of wasted space that is my only gripe with this setup this is wasted space under here so I could maybe use that more efficiently so that's a potential is coming in the future when I look at dual batteries and things but yeah front runner very very pleased with them the bed slats are nice and wide they just feel really strong they're dead sturdy I shake them the whole truck shakes where that two-thirds of the way there now we have the roller shutter and the bed bars so now we just needed to get the tent itself mounted and that provided a little bit of a challenge on an iCamper 3.0 this is what the brackets look like um, you access them with a big tool through here it's just a rounded allen head that you would use and then these two clamps come together and cinch on the bar I knew these would fit because I'd seen various videos about them saying that these were wide enough to clamp onto the bar so they, they have clamped on nice and tight and again I check this periodically and this tent has never moved what we do have that I'm not showing you because it's on the other side is there is a lock plate that goes over here I've got one on each of these bars and it's just to prevent access to that allen head um, and that's just to make try and you know prevent a little bit of theft fine on this way because then the big long allen key comes in here but we have a problem at the carb ends let me show you English pickup trucks aren't huge the Amarok's about as big as it comes without importing something from America and that's why there's not a lot of space here bear in mind this is a mini as well over the size of this bed what on the 3.0 brackets you have to access it along this tube here and then fit the tool in to the top and it attaches that way so I'm really really glad that I went to iCamper UK just south of Edinburgh and what he did there and then in that warehouse when he fitted it for me was put 2.0 brackets on so this is actually a Skycamp Mini 3.0 with 2.0 brackets and locks on otherwise I wouldn't be able to tighten, tighten this end of the tent so if I got it delivered I would have spent more money because it was it's quite a significant delivery charge because of the size of the tent and I would have had that problem because it's only through Andy's experience and sort of expertise that he was able to, to fix that there and then before it was a problem could you imagine waiting all that time to get your camper delivered and then you can't attach it to the bars and after everything else that I'd had issues with my front runner stuff that might have just sent me over the edge so like I say these are actually 2.0 brackets because of the way that you would access them along here um, but like I say thankfully it's fully attached no issues whatsoever and it hasn't come loose even though I do periodically test it and try it out um, all the time so that's it that's how I mount my eye camper to my Amarok using a mountaintop roll some front runner bars and then a little bit of cleverness from iCamper in relation to some different versions of brackets. Please do make sure that you subscribe. Give me a like rating if you think I've earned it. Please do share this video around if you think it could be useful for anybody. Like I say, it's not just for pickup trucks or Amarox in particular. This could apply to expedition trailers, could apply to caravans, could apply to vans. Anybody who's trying to mount a rooftop tent of some description, feel free to send them this way and I'll answer whatever questions I can in the comments below. Other than that, Thank you very much for watching and just remember the best memories are made outdoors so let's get back out there and have some fun. Cheers, bye bye. Now the first question, now the first question I get asked quite a lot is why a pickup truck? Now the first question, now the first question I get asked quite a lot is, is a mountaintop rule, we'll talk about more about that in a second.
It does also really help that it's a mountaintop roll and we'll talk more. When I was looking at buying this truck, when I was looking at buying this truck, after getting one and modifying it with some front runner foot mounts, I was looking at buying one without T-slots and modifying So the load bars, for me there was only one choice and that was front runner. The, their sort of quality is legendary. So load bars and for me there was only really one choice and that was front runner. Their quality is legendary. So that's it, that's how I mount. So that's it, that's how I mount. So that's it, that's how I mount my eye camber to my Amarok. Try not die now. <laughs>